Hello YouTube, this is my first tutorial. Today uh, we're going to make something with this place, displacement and uh, animation in displacement. Something like this. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a bit moving, a bit bubbly effects. I don't know what to call it. The, um, so let's get started. Yeah. So uh, I use this fur to do this, but you can use any other body if you want to. But um, I most like the sphere. So yeah, we'll just take sphere and make it editable by hitting C on your keyboard. Uh, then we're going to create new material. Double click it and uh, first turn off specular. And go to displacement. Um, go to texture and take noise. Uh, into noise, I double click on this texture and I'm going to crank up the global scale because uh, I like it like that. It's less pointy, less aggressive, like that. Um, so Let's take 400%. Um, uh, next, we go to movement and take 5, 5, 5 centimeters. And then I take speed, I also take 5%. Um, and maybe put a reflection on it like this and then you go to texture and choose for now because it gives a more natural reflection um, yeah I crank the reflection a bit down like this not much but a little bit then I go to color and make a you know, black okay um now, yeah, now um, I'm going to make um, the reflections because for this moment there's nothing in the scene to, oh, excuse me, to um, reflect on the, uh, the sphere. So take plane and crank up the plane a bit. Like this, oh, excuse me, like this, um, and create a new material to drag on plane. Um, you can click on luminance, keep it like this, and then drag it onto the plane and put the plane above the sphere. Um, um yeah. Make a copy of it and drag it down to the bottom of the sphere. So mm, going to zoom a bit in on it. Oh, I forgot something new in by the material. You go to displacement and click on sub polygon displacement and round geometry. Okay. So, I'm going to put the camera over here. Like this. Double click on the camera and coordinates type zero 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 
Oh, excuse me. Um, at, uh, here it can be 90, I guess. No. Fuck. Oh, excuse me. Um, 90. No. Like this. 90 on the X um, thing. I don't know what it is in English. So, um, and then you can do yeah, go in the camera by clicking this thing and go to here. Take 500 or something. Oh! Oh, excuse me, I took a bit too much. Like this. Um, I'm going to put this fur at zero also. Yeah. Um, now I'm going out the camera. I'm going to put this plane a little bit farther from the sphere because now you can see it in the camera and that's not what we want. So uh, click again. Oh, still not. So like this. Yeah. And um, you know, first drag the material on the sphere. But if we run it right now, you will see there. You can see a difference between the sphere and the background because they're both black. So we're going to make a background here and create a material for the background. I don't want a completely flat background, so I'm going to put um, specular off. I'm going to go into texture and gradient, and then go to. Um, yeah, double click on the texture, go to type, click on it and go to 2D circular. Um, and at the, at the inside I'm going to take a um, bright, very bright yellow. And at the outside, a bit grey, dark, grey, brown, yellow. And this bit dark green. Yes. <clears throat> yes. Um, now we are going to drag this material at the background and go take a look how it looks. Yeah, okay, I like this. Now we're going to render settings. Um, going to. Yeah, that's okay. All frames. Um, save as. Um, yeah, quick time. Mm, I have to change something. Uh, option. Yeah, best quality, thirty frames per second. That's okay for me. I'm going to save it. Um, displacement test. Okay. Um, I think it's okay. Mm. Oh, maybe put a, an ambient occlusion on it to get some shadows, maybe. And yeah, now we have to render because you can't see it if you play it like here. So you have to render it first. I'm going to. Show it again if it's rendered. 